And so one of the main applications that I've seen talked about is the mm -hmm. crude oil market. Can you explain how that works and you know what extra breadth of data that provides? Sure. So the crude oil market has traditionally been trading around the Brent and the WTI. So the focus has predominantly been on Cushing storage. Uh, as we move to more of a real true global organization, and as we actually true global world here, um, what's happening is people are trying to find out where we're going to fill that gap. So as we have sanctions coming online, people know that we're going to have a limitation on oil coming out of Iran. Uh, when you have issues such as Venezuela, right, the oil coming out of there, how are we going to meet the demand that's there? Where is the supplies? Naturally, people are looking to the United States because of all the investment in the Permian Basin what people would consider efficient ways of getting oil out of the ground and getting it to market and with the U.S. ability to export it. Um, where we are today is people need to think beyond Cushing. So what we have the ability to do is not only look beyond Cushing, but we can do it very efficiently through satellites, not through flying helicopters over or drones. Um, but more importantly, shedding intel and insight into China and these markets where traditionally there hasn't been any insight into what's going on. And so we're now today measuring 10,000 tanks across the world. So if you want to look at it regionally, we're covering the Caribbean, which is becoming an important hub for looking at storage. We're covering uh, Iran. We're covering Saudi Arabia. Every point within the world now that is making a contributed difference towards where oil is going to be as it relates to supplying the demand that's out there. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching Investors Business Daily on YouTube. If you want to watch more videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing.